Ladies and gentlemen, things are escalating and things are escalating fast. What we're witnessing right now is full on panic. We are literally witnessing history right before our eyes. We are witnessing the biggest conflict of our time. We are witnessing a banking crisis. Global markets are in turmoil. Currencies are collapsing. And now we've just got this huge urgent news that you need to know about and what the consequences are going to be for all of us. So everyone, let's not waste any time. Let's get straight into the news, the facts, and the data. Look at this. This is absolutely insane, everyone. Russia's central bank more than doubles interest rates and the lifted interest rates from 9.5% to 20% to boost the absolutely collapsing ruble. Can you believe that, everyone? Lifting interest rates from 9.5 to 20%. And I'll bring up a chart here. We can see here on this chart, the ruble has absolutely collapsed today, down more than 20%. And as expected, this is causing fear, panic, bank runs, and ATMs to be drained in Russia. But let's dig a bit deeper to see what's really happening and what this means for you and me. Because look at this, everyone. Russia's ruble plunges nearly 30% against the dollar amid sanctions over Ukraine invasion. Because like I went over my video yesterday, uh, Russia's central bank has been cut off from the SWIFT system. Many of their major banks have been cut off from the SWIFT system. And many people said, well, don't worry, Russia's been preparing for this by hoarding gold. And yes, while they do have about 22% of their foreign uh, reserves in gold, they still had about $600 billion dollars worth of foreign reserves of assets that could be frozen. So listen to this. The rate hike the central bank said is designed to offset the increased risk of ruble depreciation and inflation. This follows the central bank's order to halt foreigners' bids to sell Russian securities in an effort to contain the market fallout. The ruble fell as far as 119.5 per dollar, down a whopping 30% from Friday's close. So this is absolutely extraordinary, everyone. The central bank literally had to halt foreigners from selling Russia's securities. The dramatic developments underline fears of a run on Russia's banks. Already, long lines to withdraw cash have been seen ATMs in Russia's cities. Spurbank Europe, which is owned by Russia's state-run uh, Spurbank, says it has experienced significant outflows of deposits in a very short time. And if you don't believe me, here's proof, everyone. <laughs> So like I've been warning about people, these bank runs are happening. It's not me trying to spread fear. It's me trying to make sure people are prepared. In a statement Monday, the Russian finance ministry and the central bank announced plans to order domestic exporters to sell their foreign uh, exchange revenues starting on February 28th. The move will order exporters to sell 80% of all their forex revenues are received under export contracts. So it'll be very interesting to see what kind of effects this has on the foreign exchange markets. Now, like I was talking about earlier in the video, how Russia's central bank uh, has been preparing for this, or many people have said the Russia's uh, central bank has been preparing to be cut off from SWIFT, but I don't think they're prepared for it to happen this quickly. And like I said, they still had $630 billion in reserves that are going to be frozen. Listen to this. Russia over the past several years has amassed a war chest of some $630 billion in foreign reserves reserves, its highest level ever, which analysts say will help it withstand sanctions and losses in export revenue. But if some of those assets are frozen, that changes the calculus for Russia. And like I did a video on yesterday, this is exactly what the EU uh, Commissioner President is doing now. We will paralyze the assets of Russia's central bank. EU Commissioner President Ursula von der Leyen said in a statement Sunday, this will freeze its transactions and it will make it impossible for the central bank to liquidate its assets. So people, $630 billion may not seem much compared to what the Federal Reserve is doing at the US, but that is half of Russia's GDP, which is around 1.2 trillion. And like I've been warning about, this isn't just going to affect Russia. As I'm recording this right now, the European markets are down over 2%. The pre-market, uh, the futures are looking like it's going to be a bloody day uh, on Wall Street unless they call in the plunge protection team. Again, uh, the futures are down around 2%. And look at this, Brent crude oil is up 4% again. Natural gas is continuing to skyrocket up 3.5%. And what this is going to cause is more inflation, not just for Russia, 
for the rest of the world and especially Europe. And this is gonna have a big dilemma for the Federal Reserve. What do they do? They're going to have weaker consumer sentiment uh, from what's going on uh, in Russia and Ukraine right now, but they're also gonna have more and more inflation. And we already know the conflict is very inflationary, so the Federal Reserve is going to have to choose between lifting interest rates to cool inflation, or they may use the conflict as an excuse not to do it, and then we're gonna see this inflation crisis really destroy the middle class once and for all. But everyone, what you're probably wondering to know is, okay, well, what can we do to protect ourselves? What I'm simply doing, if I can buy something now, I'm buying it now because it's going to get much more expensive. And you don't want to be like other people that always leave it to last minute. And what have we seen right now? We've seen a lot of panic. We're seeing people rush to the ATMs when they could have been taking out their cash earlier, when no one else was panicking. We're seeing panic at the grocery store, at the gas station. Well, if you had your own food source or your own food supply, uh, some food storage stored away, water storage stored away, uh, if you can find a way to store some extra fuel because fuel costs are going to go up, that's something I'll definitely be doing right now as well. Because preppers seem to get a bad rep that they're called, you know, conspiracy theorists. Why are you preparing? Uh, there's nothing to fear. I'm sure people in Russia and Ukraine all were told, you know, this is never going to happen. Uh, don't worry about preparing. Well, I'm sure they wish they prepared more now. But everyone, that was just a quick update with what's going on with Russia's central bank. I thought it was absolutely crazy that it was lifting interest rates to 20%. What do you think? Let me know. Now, for all my loyal viewers and subscribers still watching, you're awesome. If you want to get up to five free stocks with Moomoo, I'll put a link in the description worth all the way up to $3,500. When you deposit $100, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.